with him a little bit with Tim Skipper. He's not the biggest guy. This one could go. Derek Ward. Good by touchdown Fresno State. I talked about it earlier. How SMU for some reason cannot get off to a good start. If you're a Bulldog fan, you got to be excited. Not only do they score early, but they score on the ground. Good to see D Ward back in the backfield for the Bulldogs. 53 yards on the touchdown run by Derek Ward. 50% this season. And the kick is blocked. Tyree Sams, number four, got into the block of the football. And special teams, as Vince said, make it a special day for Paris Gaines. Carr looking to throw. Now finds an opening. He'll take off across the 50 inside the 45. Run out of bounds at about the 41-yard line. Couldn't find anybody open, but he sure found an opening in the running lane. <laughs> Yeah, trips but gets the pitch away, but Briggs will not get away from Nick Burley. McCown fell as he got the pitch off, and he's fortunate that uh, he was able to get it uh, where Briggs could catch it. Well, what does that tell you right there? He, if he's falling down, that means there's just too, too much penetration coming out of the A-gaps there. Crowley on to attempt a 42-yard field goal. His first attempt was blocked, and this one is smothered. Broken up. No chance. Well, we talked about it in the opening that definitely Fresno State had an advantage about the way they handled their special teams. I don't know if this was a fake or... It yeah, was, it was a, fake a fake and it went and to Briggs. To but Briggs just ran into traffic because everybody came through for Fresno State. Bernard Marion stands at his 30 for Fresno State. Pressure gets it away. And a good kick. The 16, Barrier. Gonna reverse his field and come back to the near side. Great move. Now he's looking for blockers across the 40 to about the 43 yard line. He ran a lot farther than that. <laughs> Did you see that move? First and 10. Mustangs. Here comes the blitz and it's picked up. But McCown can't find anybody open, has to run and can't get away. Vernon Fox with a sack for the Bulldogs. Let's, let's see what Kevin Coyle throws at him this time. Here comes the blitz. And he's hit, loses a football. Picked up by Lockhart, Fresno State ball. But Cal took a shot. Lockhart recovers the fumble. Let's see who delivered the hit. Oh, the dogs brought the house. Here comes Skipper. Here comes McGill. Oh, you know it's McGill. Bryce McGill. Freshman out of Bakersfield High. To beat, he wanted a touchdown on senior night. Why not? <laughs> well, SMU hasn't really stopped him in this situation the entire first half, which is now less than 200, or two minutes and 25 seconds to halftime. Third and goal from the one and a half. Ward lunges over the goal line. Touchdown, Fresno State. Dangerous to put the ball out there like that, especially with what happened to Alec Greco last week in Fort Worth. But he smelled the goal line and really reached the football out there to break the plane for the touchdown. His second of the night. Well, once again, Osborne leading the way. I didn't know Derek Ward had these kind of hops. The 20. This time, McCown is going to throw, and though he's not swallowed up from behind. Cheramati in on the sack for Fresno State, and Orlando Huff as well. Got a pretty good threat here. Briggs met short of the first down, and it was Tim Skipper. I don't think he made it. He may have lost a half yard. To this quarter on the field. Fumble, picked up by Burley. Greg simply lost it. They've done it again. The Bulldog goal line defense has done it again. That is dodging a bullet. As Nick Burley celebrates the fumble recovery, really not a hit put on Greg's that forces the fumble. He just didn't control it. 
Now watch this. You see Dante Marsh oh, to the right boy. side. He wanted a pitch. It would have been option the other way for touchdown. That could have gone. Here's Josh Levi. Dragging defenders across the 25-yard line. Rice finally wrestles him down. But the Bulldogs get out of the shadow of their own goal line on the big run by Josh Levi. He's looking deep for Gaines. Takes a shot oh, and hangs on to the it. football. Oh, there is Gaines. What a play. What a catch. Leroy Price delivered the blow, and Gaines was wide open for it, but held on to the football somehow. I love it. I love the call. They're faking the ISO with Levi. Harris is going to run what we call a tailback shoot, where he goes out and up the sidelines. Boom, look at that. Right where you want to hit him. He holds on to it. You're going to get hit. You might as well catch it. Again, it's Ward. Breaks two tackles. Nice move to the inside. Has a first down across the 35 to the 37. Before Philly Jack Williams finally dropped it. And that's spotted at the 38. Ralph, that's the Derek Ward me and you know. Huh? The count again. Hit as he unloads. Intercepted. McGill returns it to the 35, to the 40 along the sideline. He's still on his feet. Bryce McGill playing center field with the interception and is mobbed by the Bulldogs. That could do it. The dogs are bringing the house. Skipper came on the blitz. Brown came on the blitz, I believe. McGill playing center field, picks it off, and look at this return. We might have to vote again on our play of the game. You know, the whole country's caught up in a recount. Why don't we just get involved, too? straight ahead and yeah, the Bulldogs will not have to run another play Pat Hill crosses the field to meet Mike Cavan and shake his hand and breathe a sigh of relief at the same time That's it. Fresno State hangs on for a 14-7 win. 15 straight wins at home. We'll be back with more after.